and welcome to my channel Boundless Books. So recently I was out in the Hollywood area visiting LA for the first time which was very fun and exciting and while I was there it got me thinking about some of my favorite books that have yet to be adapted for the silver screen amazingly. So I thought it would be fun today to compile a list of those books to share with you guys. So let's get started. The first book or actually series that I think would be perfectly adapted for a mini series is the Live Ship Trader series by Robin Hobb. So you're probably thinking why not the Farseer trilogy because that's definitely her most well-known series and it also happens to be my personal favorite. But that's actually precisely why I never want to see an adaptation of this because I love it too much and I have really strong opinions about how those characters should be and act and look and I don't want anything to contradict that. However, her Live Ship Trader series is set in the exact same world and I think would be a perfect choice. Very similar to Game of Thrones, this book follows a whole cast of characters from sailors and pirates to mysterious reptilian traders. Because these novels jump between different perspectives and locations and characters, I think they would be perfect for a TV series just like Game of Thrones. The TV series format would really give viewers a chance to get to know the characters, and since Robin Hobb writes such rich and interesting, fully dimensional characters, they would get a bit watered down if you tried to cram the whole story into a, you know, two hour movie. So come on HBO, please consider the Life of Traders, this is definitely your next Game of Thrones. And for those of you who have read Robin Hobb's Farseer trilogy and haven't picked this one up, you should definitely do that because they're very engaging and it's a very interesting magic system and world that Robin Hobb's created and it's just fun to explore it a little bit more in these novels. The next book I would like to talk about is also a series of books and fantasy, what a surprise. And that is the Emperor's Edge series by Lindsay Broker. This steampunk inspired novel follows uh, an ex-law enforcement officer and her band of outlaws as they try to protect the Emperor and the Empire from fiendish plots. Assassins, wizards, and thugs all make an appearance in this very spirited set of novels. While I was reading the series, I was pretty much laughing out loud reading the dialogue. I could really see those characters talking and delivering those lines in my head, sort of like a little movie playing behind my eyes. That sounded really creepy. Why did I say that? <laughs> so if you're a fan of TV shows with sort of nerdy banter, similar to Firefly or Dollhouse or even Buffy the Vampire, Slayer, uh, all Joss Whedon shows by the way, then I think that this would be perfect for you and just really a joy to watch on TV. And I could totally imagine this in Joss Whedon's hands being fantastic. And I should mention that all of Lindsay Broker's novels are hilarious and awesome and she's also an independent author that you can purchase on Amazon, so you should definitely check her out if you haven't had a chance to yet. Switching gears in the genre department a little, the next book that I would love to see as a movie is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. So I'm a big fan of Mar Margaret Atwood. She's kind of like the queen of dystopian novels before they ever became popular and, ex and embraced by the YA community. Handmaid's Tale was really cool to read and just kind of made you think a lot about where society's headed. But Alias Grace is another one of those novels that really makes you kind of stop and think. Alias Grace follows the real murder of Thomas Kinnear and his housewife Nancy in the 1800s in Canada. Specifically, the novel follows the perspective of Grace Marks, who is accused of the murder along with a man named James McDermott. Throughout the course of the novel, a young doctor named Dr. Simon Jordan is trying to determine if Grace Marks is in fact guilty or if she's insane, which she claimed to be during her trial. So the the novel follows Grace in the present being interviewed by the doctor and also Grace in the past as the murder is slowly unfolding. And I think that that would just be really compelling to see on screen. Sort of a Silence of the Lambs meets Clue, if you will. It would be very suspenseful and I think uh, really emotionally gripping. Margaret Atwood is a really nuanced writer, so there's obviously a lot of aspects of the book that could never truly be brought to life on the silver screen. That being said, I believe I read on Wikipedia that someone bought the rights to this book to turn it into a film back in like 2012. 12. So fingers crossed that this actually turns into a movie. I would definitely be one of the first people in line to go see it. The next book that I want to talk about is one that I'm honestly shocked has not been turned into a miniseries or movies yet, and that is The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. The Bronze Horseman is a romantic historical saga set in World War II in Russia. The book follows a young woman named Tatiana and her family as they weather Hitler's blitz on the city of Leningrad. In the midst of all this turmoil, Tatiana Tatiana meets a young soldier in the Red Army named Alexander, and he has a very unorthodox past, however they are drawn to one another. It's a love story, baby, just say yes. <laughs> 
So I've read this book a few times and I believe there's actually sequels to it, which I have not read, but I do think it stands alone pretty well. Yes, the ending's a little bit sad, but hello, I want to watch a movie of this where I cry profusely at the end of it. While this is a love story and that's obviously a large aspect of it, it is chock full of historical detail and I think that that would translate really well to a movie or miniseries. I'm actually a huge fan of costume or period dramas and this book would just be a perfect contender for that. The book Outlander was also recently just turned into a miniseries and I feel like it has a very similar vibe to The Bronze Horseman. If follows a set of characters in a historical time period and it's a love story as well. So if you're fond of that mini series or of that book series, this book is right up your alley. Switching gears back to fantasy, the next series that I want to talk about I think would be perfect for a trilogy of movies very similar to Lord of the Rings and that is the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. So if somehow you have not read this trilogy yet, first of all go and read it and then get back to me. But for those of you who want the Cliff Notes version, this series is set in a world where the hero of a prophecy has actually failed to fulfill the prophecy and to protect the land from the Dark Lord. Over the course of the three novels, Mistborn follows a band of outlaws led by the enigmatic Kelsier as they attempt to take down the Lord Ruler and bring peace and prosperity back to the land. One of Kelsier's recruits is a young woman named Vin who has the ability to burn metal into magic. Really cool. One of Brandon Sanderson's main strengths as an author is that he creates kick-ass magic systems and this book is no exception. It's super cool. I want to see Vin burning metals and the different ways that it interacts with the environment. I just think it would be so badass. I have sort of a visual in my head, but I just feel like seeing that and the CGI masters in Hollywood get their hands on it, it would just be super cool. While this trilogy could work well as a TV series kind of like Game of Thrones, each of the books is luckily pretty compact that I think that they would work really well as a self-contained movie without you missing too much. And the last book that I would like to end on is a historical fiction novel called Mara, Daughter of the Nile by Eloise Jarvis McGraw. Now, if you haven't heard of this novel, I'm not surprised because absolutely no one has heard of this novel and I'm pretty sure that it's out of print, which is very sad to me because I think it's an excellent novel. This novel is set in ancient Egypt and follows a young woman named Mara, who is a very proud Egyptian slave set on securing her freedom. So when she's approached by a mysterious benefactor who offers her freedom in exchange for spying on the pharaoh's half-brother, Mara jumps at the opportunity. So while this could be a simple spy story, what makes this novel particularly cool is that as Mara heads to the capital, to begin her life as a spy, she is approached by an additional party interested in securing her espionage services. So Mara decides that she's gonna play along with both sides to try to get as much as she can out of this deal. She's very opportunistic and really bent on securing her fortune and freedom. So this book would just make a really cool movie, basically a spy thriller set in ancient Egypt. And I've never really seen a movie like that, but I think that that could be very cool. In fact, I think this would make a far more thriller adventure story than something like Indiana Jones 10, which they're probably gonna end up making. So whether or not this actually makes its way onto the silver screen, which sadly I don't think it ever will just because it's not that well known, although it should, you should still definitely go try to find this book on Amazon because it is damn enjoyable. So those are all the books and series that I think would make awesome movies or mini series. If there are other books that you guys think that I left off that should be snuck into this list, definitely leave me uh, a note down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this list. And if you're interested in hearing about all the books that I read during the month of March, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, my name is Laura. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Um, probably Tutmos. Just say the moose tutor. Moose tutor. <laughs> That's cuter. It rhymes. <laughs> okay, let's start over.